Hello, Andy here. In this video, I'd like to tell you about Good Data Visual Studio Code extension, a new addition to our Analytics as a Code uh, toolset. The querying Analytics as a Code is not a new concept for Good Data. We've had a declarative REST API and a Python SDK for a while now, but those primarily cover a different use case, analytics provisioning, like moving analytical objects between staging and production or versioning them in Git and so on. What we want to achieve with VS Code extension is to enable analytics authoring through code, the same as you would write any other application in Python or Kotlin or JavaScript. This video is the first in series where I'll cover our progress on VS Code extension development. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any new uploads. So, why analytics as code? Well, point and click user interface is certainly nice, but it's kind of hard to manage proper versioning, collaboration and provisioning with just user interface and while staying productive. On the other hand, with code you get those things for free. Software developers were perfecting code-oriented workflows for decades. Why not just use the same approach for analytics? Furthermore, coding is no longer a specialized skill. A lot of data analysts know how to code and it's becoming even easier with the new AI tools like ChatGTP or Copilot. We did extensive research and landed on the following setup for our solution. First of all, we've chosen YAML as the base syntax for our code. It is well known, simple and flexible enough to accommodate complex objects. We did consider Python language as well, but in the end YAML is declarative and more readable. Maybe Python can be introduced later for power users who need more flexibility. What do you think? Share your opinion in the comments. At the moment, you can define semantic layer of your analytics with code. That includes data sets, data dimensions, and metrics. Visualizations and dashboards are work in progress. The second outcome of the research that we did is that we are focusing on VS Code as the main code editor. It is likely already installed on the engineer's laptop and, heck, it can even run in a browser. Writing a plugin for VS Code is super easy and that's exactly what we did. Our VS Code extension is already available on the marketplace in beta. Features include syntax highlighting, semantic code validation, autocomplete, and an option to preview and deploy your code. Last but not least, we are also building a command line utility. It is primarily designed for um, CI pipelines, but it can also be used for development for quickly putting your changes into the workspace. GD init command is a wizard that guides you through a new workspace configuration. GD clone loads existing workspace from good data server and saves it into local files. GT deploy validates the files and deploys them to the good data server and GT validate just validates the file. The command line utility is already available on NPM. I hope this overview made you just a little bit excited about what's coming. If you want to try it for yourself, there is a link to docs in the video description. Make sure to also check out a video from my colleague Patrick about how to use analytics as a code. We are working on the next big release of VS Code extension where we'll introduce visualizations as code. So stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll make sure to respond to you. See you next time.